with the first week of spring ball, the guys worked uh, really hard. Um, we had three practices this week and obviously a lot of meetings. Uh, things are going very well. Beautiful day out there today, so we had a good practice. Uh, first day in full pads and uh, really pleased. Pleased with what I'm seeing across the board. Really good group. Um, very efficient and off to a good start. Okay, do you have questions uh, related to the great dance teacher? Josh, go ahead. Hey, Mike, Jeff here. Uh, what surprised you this week in the video? I mean, you thought maybe it would be harder uh, just get things situated here early on, but did it surprise you that maybe it wasn't as hard or about vice versa? Sure. Turn that up a little bit. I don't know if it was Josh or Josh's mic or our mic, but just turn it up just a little bit. Um, I, I got it. I, I got you. Um, I don't know if it if uh, surprise is the right word. Um, pleased, pleased with uh, you know a bunch of new offensive coaches, uh, new system, and uh, very uh, pleased with the efficiency of our offense. And um, just, you know, the basics, you know, the communication, the urgency, uh, getting to the line of scrimmage, alignments, assignment, um, you know, just uh, being efficient at our plays. Um, I, I feel like uh, the accuracy, our quarterbacks, really, they know where to go with the football. Our completion percentage um, is, is extremely high, uh, which I really like to see. Uh, very few uh, drops, very few footballs on the ground. Um, so uh, I'm pleased with what I'm seeing. I feel like defensively today, the first day in pads, uh, you certainly felt their pop, you felt their punch. You guys are big and strong, and um, you know we're we're um, you know showed up a bit better as you would expect when you put on full pads today. Uh, but uh, very pleased uh, with what I'm seeing offensively. And, uh, and just the, the efficiency of the offense and the way we're going about, um, you know, the install. It's hard as you get going. Sometimes you may look good in day one or day two, but as you get to day three and day four of the installation, and now you're, you're, you're trying to put everything together, and that could get a bit overwhelming for the players, but they still uh, have done a good job. Obviously, uh, there's a lot of work to do, but I'm, I'm pleased with the start. John Long. Hey, Mark, we've heard a lot of the players talk this week about how excited and energized they are to learn Coach Liam's new offense. Uh, how challenging has it been for you as the old head coach to be able to get up to speed, uh, get on the same page with a lot of those offensive schemes? And how much of what percentage of your time in spring practice is now going to be devoted to the offense? Yeah, quite a bit of my time is devoted to uh, being around the offense right now and watching that and uh, uh, keeping my, uh, you know, just keeping an eye on that. Um, but you know, it, what's nice about the spring is we tie when we tie up in our in our group settings in our team sessions, we're going uh, offense versus defense. So um, I get to see it all. Um, so it's been it's been very good and uh, it's it's exciting for me. Uh, to uh, learn the system and to be in there and, and watch what they're doing and and uh, see us evolve day to day. So it's been an exciting time. Bonnie? Uh, Mark, I, we understand that uh, based on what Coach Liam said, that size is not an issue for sure in the offensive, in, in the, uh, offensive line. Uh, do you have a couple of uh, slots to fill? Uh, and I know, I, I'm assuming you got uh, your body's good, but, but how, how far along do you feel you, uh, you are with that? With offensive line, Lonnie, or where? Yes, offensive line. Well, you know, what, offensive line, you need, you need so many good players. That's the thing. So we do feel like, um, you know, we're grateful. Obviously, Darian came back, and then you get Luke coming back, which really helps us quite a bit. Uh, with the front line guys, but uh, we, we definitely need some help and some depth. Um, you know, like most teams, you get to spring, you feel like you're a little bit thin at certain positions. You know, as I mentioned in my day one press conference uh, prior to the start, we're fortunate. We have over 100 players out there right now in spring, which is rare. 
um, you know, with all the newcomers and with the with the return of the the extra year for the sixth year players. So we're in good shape. We have quite a few bodies, but I think uh, it's fair to say, Lonnie, that we're always trying to build quality depth, especially uh, at the interior uh, line position, offense and defense. Yes. Was that just, a, you know, because I kind of, my impression was maybe those guys would go through the spring and just see how they fit into everything. But, uh, I mean, clearly that didn't happen with, with at least a few of them. Was that something you all talked about or, or kind of how did those situations? Um, um, yeah, you know, I hate to, you know, we, we wish all those guys nothing but the best and greatly appreciate what they've done. We're deep, you know, we're deep. I mean, you know, with, with we still got, 11, 12 guys out there getting reps right now. And uh, we need production. We need to get better. I said that in my day one press conference as well. We, we need to get better. There's no denying that. Uh, we gotta, we've got to take some steps forward. And, you know, you do that by, uh, you know, replacing. You know, you do that by recruiting. Uh, you do that by developing the guys you have and getting them better each day. And we're working hard at that. You know, I feel good. Uh, 10, 12 guys are out there right now getting quality reps, and uh, we got to keep on pushing them and getting them better. We have some guys coming in 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 the fall that that have some juice, that have some some speed that we greatly need. Um, but you know, with Isaiah coming back, you know he you know if we could keep him healthy, Isaiah gives us that speed, and then you got Josh and you got Wandell. Uh, that's that's a that's as good a front line as we've had in a long time. So, the, the, you know, that was day one, you know, starting, you know, three wideouts, and those guys all have some juice along with our tight ends. So, um, again, just appreciate all the guys and what they've done. Turnover's going to happen. There's going to be more. I mean, we, we have to, actually. You know, we got to turn this roster over a little bit. So, um, you know, we'll continue to compete. Lonnie, do you have another one? Mark, you've alluded to this before about not wanting to overload the guys with too much information too early on. I think even in midseason sometimes, you've said sometimes you you put too much on them. Are you concerned at all about uh, Liam coming in and maybe wanting to do a little bit too much? How do you strike that balance? Not right now. We have to pour it on them right now. We have to, uh, you know, go whole. We'll go whole, part whole. So we'll put everything in, uh, no, not everything. We'll put a, a lot in. We have to. We've got to continue to evolve and progress. And then, you know, you, you, you can dial it back some and, and try to hone in a little bit and then, and then push them again. So, uh, uh, but we have, to, we have to feed them a lot of info right now. Is your gut feeling at this point that this is a team with a pretty high football IQ and can absorb a lot of this information? I definitely feel feel good. I feel like overall the guys are very committed. They're working hard. Uh, they're putting a lot into it, both in the film room and and uh, on the practice field. So that's what's nice about spring is is uh, again the way I do it is Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. That gives you a lot of time uh, to absorb that. Get healthy in between. We lift and have meetings on our off days. It makes for a long spring, but I feel like you get you, we can get a lot in. Nick. Mark, you talked about Isaiah. How did last year help him, and, and how has he shown you stuff just through the first three days of, of spring practice? What does he give you? Through? Well, he gives you gives you some top end. You know, he gives you some speed that we de definitely need. Um, you know, but uh, but you know, he's got that that you know injury that has definitely been lingering. But I think when it's all said and done, he'll be at a hundred percent in the fall. Um, but um, you know, but we got to continue to. Uh, monitor that and make sure we're not overloading him. But he, he give you know the one thing that he brings you, he brings you speed. Josh, we spoke. We got to speak with DeAndre on Thursday, and, and I was I came away really impressed with him. Just kind of vocally, like confident, just seemed like he was at a different kind of at a higher level. You know, not that he's ever been like you're not confident, but it just seemed like it came across uh, you know more visibly. 
Um, have you seen that from him? And then what are you? What are your expectations of him as, as you're just kind of leading that group and, and the defense? Well, I think all of our guys. Um, you know, we we you know put them in leadership roles and give them the tools to 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 be able to lead. He is a guy that in in some way or some form or fashion has been a leader uh, since day one. But I think each year you kind of find your voice, you find the way to communicate and impact more and more people. And I think that's what you're seeing with him is, a, is the normal trans, transition of becoming, uh, you know, a leader that more impactful to the entire team. You know, there's quite a few people in our you know, in our program, in our organization, if you're in there in a team meeting, there's a hundred and, you know, 25, 130, 140 people in there. And, uh, you know, a guy like DeAndre, the, the longer he goes in our program, the more equipped he is to have an impact on the greater amount of people. And I think you're seeing that, uh, that you're seeing that transition, you're seeing that growth. He's always been a remarkable young man. He came in with a great mindset from the beginning. And that's why he's becoming a better and better leader and a better and better player each and every day because it's so important to him. Last call for questions. I'll take one more if we got it. John Long. Mark, we've always talked about the importance of having enough alpha dogs as part of the team. In your mind as a head coach, is there a possibility of having too many? And what's the proper percentage? of having alpha dogs versus followers on the team? I, I don't know the answer to that question. Um, you know, I don't know. I don't put any limitations on that. Um, you know, we'll, we'll see. Um, we're three days in. This team is forming its identity right now, um, you know, through the winter, you know, what they did in the weight room, um, you know, and, and lifting and running, you know, and then uh, going through spring ball. There's still quite a bit of time. Um, so we'll evolve, uh, you know, and let that maturation prop uh, process happen naturally, and uh, see see how it shakes out. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, Lonnie snuck one in there. I mean, this is the last one, Lonnie. Go ahead. Uh, Mark, you, you seem to have uh, quite a few guys. Well, I don't say quite a few, but uh, some guys on the roster that uh, this is outside backup that are big guys. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, we play different sets. Sometimes you may play, you know, some teams that, that want to get big and, and, you know, play with two, two tight ends, possibly three tight ends. You know, you're going to get some big sets. So you need different body types. We have different packages. Um, you know, we have a way, you know, to play uh, smaller when we call it the medium you know, package where we put more of a defensive back in that uh, Sam linebacker position where it's it's a kind of a cross between a nickel and a, and a base defense. So there's different packages that we can do. Um, so we need all different body types and, and personnel. We need, you know, it's it's our job, it's Brad's job to get the best 11 on the field at the proper time. And, you know, and, uh, you know, certainly throughout the year, you're going to face different offenses and in different personnel groupings. So you got to be prepared for all of it. All right, Coach Stoops, thank you.